Yo, what's up? This is Tony Perkins for RETV here with the beautiful, the lovely Sharia J. What's hey, going on, sis? Cool and cool and cool and can't complain. I feel blessed and excited and, you know, vibrating higher, so. Helicopter parked on the road. Been a big deal since a you. I be in your ear blue too. And I'm a home run, babe, rude. So let's get right to it. Um, What is your mission or your goal as an artist? I think um, mainly my goal as an artist is to work on being the best creative I can be. You know what I mean? And and taking my creativity and using it at the end to just, you know, if it inspires somebody else to be better, do better, you know, be encouraged, then, you know, at the end of the day, I think my job is done. And that kind of stuff really excites me. Thank God I could use creativity as the medium to be able to do that with, but um, I think my mission really is just to help other people see greatness in them, like other people, like people did for me, and mentors that I've been able to learn up under and just gain some awesome wisdom from. Me, me and y'all finished. Wiped out of here like a blemish. Hanging in a rush for the kid ass, man. Every Let's talk about your first first track, mm -hmm. Bombay. Yeah. What can we expect from that? Well, you know. I really had a fun time with the whole project, uh, Dope Product, you know what I mean? I felt I was going into it with the mind of, I'm just going to have fun, take chances, be creative, not think, overthink it, just get in there and rap and do what I want. And so when I heard that Rob song, Instrumental, I was like, man, I love that beat because it had a little chill bill joint in there. And I'm like, man, I wonder. And so I just hopped on that joint freestyle. Mississippi putting it down, I'm the hottest round. I told you I'm Y'all can stop me now. Let's talk about your relationship with Missy Elliott. How, how did that How did that all come about? Man, that was a blessing. You know, one thing I can say is that the creator has had my back, man. Like, really, really holding me down. And um, I actually bumped into Miss at a, a mutual friend's party, like a dinner party or something one night. And it was funny, our vibe, we was all in there chilling. It was a bunch of dancers, because she always been into the dance game too, like into that culture. So we was all dancing. I just got in the middle, did a little freestyle, whatever, you know. <laughs> and she asked me like, yo, like, what's up? Like, you an artist? And at that time, I was transitioning into that, because I had did a lot of years, like, dancer and choreographer. But I was transitioning into that. And she told me right there, like, yo, you got star quality. and. If you let me take you under my wing, like I'm, I, I mentor you and show you the ropes of this thing. And so that was a blessing, you know, for that to just have come like that. And, um, and she did exactly that. She mentored me and taught me so much and passed me on so much wisdom. We, we, have, we have something in common, me and you. And my dad is an artist also, so we come from that, that background of music. Yes. How, how much of an impact did that have on you coming up? Oh, it's been a major influence on my, my career and just me in general as a person. Um, because of times like that, my mother was a music head, so I knew all of the old school records that I had no business knowing, you know what I mean? I wasn't around for, but because her and my pops, like they played that stuff in the house, it just gave me a different kind of ear. And so when he was in there, that's what we knew he was working and he had his instrumentals going, but I would go to sleep at night and he'd be walking in his office and when I wake up in the morning, he'd be coming out the office. Mm -hmm. So that means that me, you know, for me at a young age, his work ethic alone, that was just displayed in that because he spent all night in there and the next time I see him, he was coming out. So I knew he was in there all night with that instrumental, you know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, that just influenced me to just work hard and music was just around so it just had a heavy impact on who i am and and, and the person i want to develop into I let the music play go ahead let it bang benji be the name because i got my own slang see the way you're moving the crowd the way the beat swing when i'm walking around the way i'm rocking alexander way what has been your biggest challenge as an artist i think my biggest challenge as an artist is the uh the willpower and perseverance not to give up you know, because uh, we work so hard as creators and always pushing ourselves to, you know, be better, do better. And the industry is a tough industry. Like, this is one of the most competitive industries, you know what I'm saying? That people are out here trying to make a living and trying to get ahead and trying to be recognized for their gifts and for their talents. So 
the idea that I can keep going, you know what I mean, and, and just continuously believe in myself, whether no matter how many no's I make, you know, here in a day or waiting for that one yes, that always just allows me to uh, persevere, just, you know, and get it done. Being from Jersey City, coming from Jersey City, actually, um, you know, youth violence is, a, is like at an all time high right now. How important is lyrical content and are you conscious while you're putting together your music? Lyrical content is extremely important, I would say, um, because that's facts, what you said. That is a, you know, and I think that us as creatives and artists, we do have a, a you know, we don't have to have a huge responsibility, but we do have a small responsibility to when we sit down in the studio and write our rhymes and, you know what I mean, because music is such a universal language that it's an opportunity for you to touch so many people in so many ways at one time when they listen to your joints. And so I do feel like, yeah, we should be talking about things that are reflecting the times, you know what I mean? Or, or for myself, like I like to make fun music too because I'm a hip hop dancer and, and a dancer in general. And so I like to make joints that make people feel good. And so whatever we can do, if that's uplifting somebody through a fast joint where they're going to be in the club, like, you know, happy, yeah. or if it's just putting them down to some game or dropping some jewels in your joints, then I think that's necessary. And I do think that that's that's what every artist should be attempting to do. I'm looking forward, and I hope that, you know, I want the world to be looking forward to the uh, mixtape also. So it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful project, and uh, check out Sharia J, man. Hey, don't cry that. <laughs>